Knoxville, Pennsylvania. So what is this? It's like nothing anyone should see on the public highway, but hey, wait a minute. It's turning into the field. Maybe it's a newfangled potato planter or something. No, sir, it's an aerial plane with turntable wings. George Spratt, the inventor, figured that's how she could taxi along the highways and maybe the skyways. The experts give 10 to 1. She can't fly. Georgie set on taking a chance, and there he goes! the time the experts got fooled. Good boy, George. In this ship here with the three-wheel landing gear, any kind of a landing is perfectly all right, frontwards or sideways, one wheel, or any other way that you wish. The GB Ascender steers with a wheel instead of the conventional rudder bar, both in the air and on the ground. Similar to this, the flippers are handled by the fore and aft motion of the stick and the ailerons by the side motion. The throttle is directed behind the wheel like a Model T Ford. All right, Andy, let's go. shouldn't it raise an airplane? Perhaps that's what Mr. Jonathan Caldwell thought when he designed and built this contraption, which is being shown to the public for the first time. The mill wheels going round are supposed to represent the flapping wings of a goose. The wheels turn all right, but it just won't leave the ground, not even when they drag it. It moves, though, and that's something. But any auto will go pretty well downhill. A good idea just the same, Professor, and better luck next time. Don't laugh. This thing that looks as if half of it was missing really works. It's a new tubular plane invented by an Italian engineer who believes this design will someday break all records for speed and stability. You've often seen a barrel roll, but here's one that flies. according to its inventor, Dr. Snyder. He calls it the flying wing, and experts think it's going to revolutionize aviation. It's supposed to be foolproof and has lots of speed and pep, as the doc's going to show you right now. Here she goes. Looks as if the inventor copped his idea from a butterfly. Being all wing turns it into a glider in case the motor gets heebie-jeebies and makes tail spins impossible, Dr. Snyder claims. It can top 100 miles an hour, and is supposed to be as safe as old Dobbin for the family. If what the doc says comes true, we'll all be hopping around in these pancakes very soon. No, it's not an airplane, and it isn't a balloon. It's a spindle airship the new invention that has excited aeronautical engineers. Perhaps Mr. Popper, the inventor, will explain the idea for us. In place of wings, we use spindles on this ship. The large ones are the main lifting lifters, and the small ones act as stabilizers. This is done by spiraling, 
so that the landing speed would be about five to 10 miles per hour. Now as they revolve, the spindles with their little indentations are creating a lifting vacuum above. Engineers predict the spindles will be more efficient than the wings of an airplane. There's only this about the spindle airship. She hasn't flown yet, but who can say she won't? the flying umbrella. Here's the latest in aviation which the inventors hope will be the family flavor of the air. And it really works. The single circular wing allows a quick takeoff and it can go 135 miles an hour. Don't worry about engine trouble. That pancake top allows it to drop slower than a parachute. And it can land at your front door. Maybe it's the future aerial taxi. A tailless answer to the call issued by the aeronautics director of the Department of Commerce for a flivver of the air. It is my hope that someday that this little ship will become the great great granddaddy of America's air flivver. Just a pair of wings and a place to sit. And what a place. The tiny craft weighs 1,100 pounds and has a wing spread of only 30 feet. A device on the wing tips controls direction. <laughs> Professor, folks, for 20 years he's been watching the Tilly Luberg and has finally discovered what makes it fly. All it takes is a tank full of oxygen, a left-handed monkey wrench, and a couple of nuts. Right. Here we go. History in the making. It's the happiest day of the professor's life. Let's hope he's put salt on its tail. Going, going, that's all.